Good morning once again and come back. Uh, I told you that we'd be back with the discussion about education today being World Education Day. And uh, we are going to discuss alternative education, alternative or complementary educations. No, people are used to, what we are used to is 844, like eight years in primary, four years in secondary, then four years in university. But now are there other ways that people can attain education without following that? Or people can maybe get a career or get a livelihood without going through this education system. My name is Sankara Kayesu and I'm not alone in studio. I am with the guests who are going to help me demystify or dissect this. One of them is called Beria Wawira and another is called Walter Odondi, both from Zizi Africa, the organization that deal with education. So, Wawira, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. You are going to tell me more about yourself, yes. or tell the viewers more about yourself now. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Um, thank you for giving us an opportunity to yes. come and share mm. about education here at your studios. Uh, we are grateful for that. Uh, we are from Zizi Africa Foundation, mm. um, working with the TVETS uh, space uh, in the education sector. Yes. Yeah, we are here to unfold and uh, discuss further um, all that is, is coming in in terms of alternatives of education, mm. um, yes, uh, okay. and the TVET space in general. More about you, your social media platforms. Yes. Be, uh, <laughs> all right, my social media, I'm only on Facebook. Yes, <laughs> yes as very aware, yes. and also LinkedIn, uh, as very aware. Oh, yes. you look like a, a career lady. <laughs> yes, I have not explored uh, social media so much, but I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Time. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. mm. yes. Walter. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Walter Odondi, a program officer at Zizi Africa. Uh, you can find me on social media platforms on Facebook as Walter Odondi, on uh, Instagram Walter Walment One, and uh, also on, on on Twitter, which is uh, the <laughs> Serious one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you are more serious on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Walter Onyango one. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. There's another guy in this studio called Walter. Ah. I'll tell you who he is after that. Yes, oh. Walter. Walter is a serious name. And, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and my belief is that education is actually an equalizer. So that's, that's my tagline. Mm. Achieving greatness uh, one step at a time. Yes. Thank you. you guys look educated. <laughs> <laughs> you are here to advocate for the other alternative way of education. Exactly. Yeah. Did you go through that other way or you just went through the, the formal 844? Well, I went through the normal 844. Mm. Um, and uh, at my time, um, I'm not so old or younger, mm. but at the time, there's n there was no such advocacy as we have today mm -hmm. as when we were learning about TVET. Yes. Otherwise, that would have been my best um, solution to have. Mm. Though I went through a 844 and completed. Mm. Yes. But so uh, you are saying if you knew maybe there was some yes. way you could have gone through that. Yes, yes. And that is what you are going to talk to yes. us about today. Yes. What mm. are you also going to do it for? Uh, I would say mine is a mix of both mm. uh, because. Uh, what, uh, actually, when we did our Form 4, uh, the first thing our parents thought of was computer packages, and oh. that we did in that, <laughs> one, that we did in Tibet. <laughs> yeah, and, and also uh, driving school, which is also done in Tibet institutions. Mm. So I, I believe I, I, I did a little bit of Tibet, because uh, because Tibet is actually anything, uh, everything everything we do, the the hat you're wearing the seats you're sitting on, mm -hmm. everything here mm. is TVET. So oh, I would really? say uh, in one way or the other, we, we went through TVET uh, mm. and also went through the formal 844. So mine has a complementary of both. I've uh, not 844. thought of that, that yeah. everything here is TVET. Everything TVET. here is TVET. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now it's like some people are wondering what this TVET is. But yeah, maybe you can help us explain yeah. what exactly is TVET. Yeah, so TVET in full, I know most are wondering, what is this TVET we are yes, talking about? Yes. <laughs> so TVET is Technical, um, Vocational Education and Training. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this vocational training in uh, what we are discussing about. Mm. As my colleague Walter has said, all this we are sitting on is TVET. Mm -hmm. There is someone who came in and uh, built or uh, made um, this seat we are sitting on, you know. 
um, yeah, so there's hands-on skills we want to discuss and um, discuss more into it. Mm. Yes, because TVET is about skills, mm. hands-on. Mm. Yes. Mm. So there are institutions that just teach this. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, what I, what I'll add also from what my uh, colleague has said is that there are different levels of TVET. Yeah. There's uh, TVET. Uh, at the lowest level, which is run by the county government, which is called the Vocational Training Center. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this you don't really need to have like uh, any qualification as long as you have an ID and you want to learn. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, like around 90% of the examination they do is practical and another 10% which is theory. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, the, next step is, the next step is uh, the TTIs. Uh, the Technical Training, training Institute, mm -hmm. uh, the, which is now which is national, and then there is now the National Polytechnic, like uh, Kabete National Kabete National Polytechnics. Then we have at the highest level the technical universities like uh, Tuk and uh, Tum. Mm. Uh, KIMC is also a Tibet institution. Uh, people people feel that technical is only like manufacturing and all that, but also the film industry. You you guys having us here, the the uh, the camera is yes. all Tibet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, the the Tibet looks like what we are being told about CBC mm -hmm. that now people will go to class and maybe do exactly. Yeah. what they want to do or what they want to specialize mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. from childhood yeah. so that they start specializing early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will CBC now kill Tibet? No, actually mm -hmm. CBC is a complementary because CBC is the foundation mm -hmm. because that is where you're finding um, a, a, the learners now in school. Mm -hmm. Whatever they, they are understanding, the knowledge they have and what they are being given as homework or um, you know take homes are the skills they need to apply. Mm -hmm. So those skills are the ones we are elevating to the TVET space now. Mm -hmm. Because Wakenda Kwa TVET, that's when now they are able to actually use the same skills. If you're told to draw, for instance, um, as a homework uh, in the CBC, which is now, you know, the child is being given homework or assignments that they can work with the parents mm. to show them, you know, to nurture their skills. Mm. So those same skills are now elevated in the TVET, where you find... Um, that child now at the TVET level is able to actually comp continue with the same skill they had and improve on them. So, uh, for instance, if it's uh, like the, the camera person who is taking us today, um, if that was their passion or that was their skill, now they are able to enhance that as they, they move on. Okay. Yeah, so TVET is, uh, CBC and TVET, they are... Complementing yes, each other. Yes. More than, is it complementing each other um, more than 844 is doing? Uh, I, I, I would say there is CBC for the lower for the lower level, yeah. uh, which is the basic education. But then also there is CBET, competence based education yes. and training. Mm -hmm. Which uh, so we wouldn't say that CBC is going to kill uh, TVET yeah. because there is also a CBC curriculum for TVET. Mm. So CBC is is what will uh, be the market pool for yeah. TVET institutions and. Uh, now, before we had also like technical secondary where institu uh, institutions had uh, the normal uh, lessons and then an additional carpentry or welding yeah. uh, for, for the students, uh, which, which, which was uh, dropped at some point. But then there are some institutions like Don Bosco, Embu that is still doing that. So as uh, I think the CBC now is, 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 is more focused on, yes, we will have the knowledge, but also have the skills for people to, to learn. Yeah. Uh, the, the issue for me with the CBC, I think one, uh, so not really an issue. Uh, one thing I think about uh, CBC is that it's now bringing in the parent who had left their students to, to the teachers. Mm. Uh, for one month. But now the, the, the role of the parent is, is being enhanced yeah. to a way that the, the children and the parents are connecting. Mm. Uh, there's also 
previous I, I, I had your uh, your discussion uh, yeah. earlier. Yeah, in the intervention. Um, yes, yeah. yes, 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 and and, and and you you you're saying that CBC um, th there's no assessment, mm. but you see that is that is what uh, education had taught us before in Kenya that mm. we only study for exams, mm. so. Uh, someone will be even in even in university. I saw people were doing that. That you you will not attend lectures, but like ten days to to exams, you cram, you yeah. cram everything. everything. Yeah. So you <laughs> only have the knowledge, the yeah. the, the information, yeah. mm. but you can't apply it. Mm. But with that uh, removal of exams, you are now able to focus on what you really want. Mm. And then it's it's also a lot of pressure starting to assess students at this lower level just let them uh, try and get their footing so that by the time they're joining they're, 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 they're having these assessments yeah. then they are ready for it mm. the only issue i have with cbc like i said was one i think uh, there, were, there, there should have been more awareness for the parent mm. and also the issue of uh, blanketing it yes uh, so that <coughs> Uh, the assignment we are giving in Nairobi should it be the same assignment we are giving to someone in Marsabit, yes, who, uh, those, yes. those far-flung areas. Uh, how do we ensure that those uh, assignments we are giving are uh, community, community focused mm. and based on the available resources? Mm -hmm. How do you also skill the, 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 the teachers mm -hmm. who are giving this, uh, this training so that it's they, they are not only they are not training based on the the, the lessons they had for eight, from eight four four, but from the skills that will enable them do the CBC, mm -hmm. and also the issue of be, it being expensive is also because they've not utilized the local uh, local materials to 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 to, to propel CBC. Otherwise, it's, I think it's a, a really nice concept mm -hmm. uh, that if well handled, then we are going to see a lot of. It's 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 a, it's a pity that we import even toothpicks. Yes, yes. And and you see with this, <laughs> uh, like skills focused kind of training, CBET, CBC, uh, we are training people to work on their skills. We are mm. training them for for the industry, and we are also not uh, trying to kill the issue where the employers are saying that. There's mismatch of training. We are getting uh, uh, raw baked, uh, uh, not uh, those who are half baked uh, employees mm. to uh, to to our job. So we have to retrain them. So if we have those kind of uh, engagement, or also partnership with mm. industry, so that we know what they want mm. and then train what they want. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, okay. I, I think mm -hmm. I think to just add on what my colleague is saying. Mm. Yeah? The CBC incorporating the parental engagement is very, very key. Mm -hmm. That way the parent is able to understand what skills or what expertise this child is having. Mm -hmm. So that now as they progress, they're able to nurture them better so that they even uh, uh, probably build on their skills. Mm -hmm. So that by the time they're finishing, we're not um, probably having people only just doing computers, mm -hmm. you know. And with the skills they have probably... Um, uh, received from the experience they have had if it's uh, a person is uh, passionate about carpentry mm. you know even before they join uh, probably the Tibet space or even before they, they join the tertiary education they could be even be making these chairs mm. and selling them mm. so those skills enhance them to be employable you know or even to employ people okay yeah. okay uh, uh, just brief about you uh, we are coming back to you yeah. Walter mm -hmm. mm. What do you do at Zizi Africa to promote Tibet, Tibet education? Uh, Zizi Africa is an education research organization that um, envisions a world where every children learn and thrive. Mm. So in this learning, uh, under the Tibet, uh, Tibet space, we are providing access uh, to the youth who are fathers left behind. So those really needy kids. Uh, really needy youth who want to train, but they don't have uh, the finances. So through a, uh, a, a program we call the Safaricom Foundation Scholarship Program, we're offering scholarships to around 
uh, 1,000 students to, to train on, on skills, food, uh, food and beverage, plumbing, electrical, and welding. Uh, but also under that whole new development department, we're also uh, building the capacities of instructors, institutions, uh, so that they, they, they are able to train uh, youth not only for the technical skills, but they can train the head, the heart, and the hands. Uh, it's unfortunate, uh, uh, the issues of Professor Kiche, who we were talking about, the, yes. the, 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 the for immediate former Masai Mara, Ma Mara Vice-Chancellor. Vice mm. uh, students get to suffer because institutions <coughs> were not compliant. But then if you build the capacities of these institutions to know that this is what is required for you to be accredited, then they, they are able to uh, train students uh, and also not give them like those pains like the one that uh, the, the guy is having. But also the due diligence is important. Yes. We are also offering, ensuring quality by supporting them in curricular development. So there's a lot of research, evidence-based, uh, and also a lot of advocacy. We are engaging a lot with government to ensure that uh, issues in Tibet, like the 100% transition is not, not only academic, where you're saying mm -hmm. from primary to secondary, but also looking at how do we ensure that someone who is coming to primary can also go to TVET mm. uh, which, and, and gain skills? Because we are all not uh, formed in a way, we, we are not all formed in a way to go for academics. Uh, we, there, are, there are those who want apprenticeship and there are those who also want to go to technical skills. Mm. And lastly is transition to work. How do we engage, people, how do we engage with uh, employers, with other stakeholders? Uh, under programs, you've, you've, I, I know you've heard of the Hands of the Future that mm. was done. I know uh, under, under PIDA, Permanent Working Group, which we are members to, there's the a, a Values and Life Skills Working Group. Uh, we, we are t we're trying to ensure that there's that connection between the industry, linking industry with academia, so that the, t the training is, is, is customized in a way that people are trained to fit the needs of the industry. Okay. Yes. yes yeah, yes. that looks nice or sounds mm. nice. But now, Beria, yeah. if maybe you want to, there's somebody watching yes. for us, uh, engage us in our social media platform yes. who did his class eight mm -hmm. and have not gone to any institution. Yeah. There's also one who went to secondary and got yeah. a D minus. Yes. They don't know what to do next. Mm. And uh, they, they lack funds maybe to go on or they don't know, they are just yeah. not cancelled on where to go after that. Mm -hmm. They consider themselves failures. Yes. Uh, mm. What can you tell them? One, we need to have this mindset that TVETS is not for failures. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. just because you got a D does not mean you're a failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, people who have emerged senior professors, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, big persons. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, so wha th that is the first one. The second one is we have to, every, t we have is uh, in our communities, the TVETS are there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, most of, uh, actually, almost all counties, mm -hmm. actually, all the counties in Kenya, as we're having now, mm -hmm. have TVET uh, institutions institutions in them. You can go in and enroll. Enroll for a hands-on um, skill mm. or a course that you can take. May it mm. be in hairdressing, in massage, in electrical, in plumbing, in, um, in welding, all these courses. Mm. These courses will actually enable you even to propel you to an advanced stage. Mm. Because it is through you starting at the basic basic level of say grade three mm. uh, of doing electrical welding that you're able to actually go work out there because that is something you, you with your hands mm. you're able to actually do so much yes. you're actually able to go door to door seeking for you know everyone in our houses we will all agree here mm. that we need a plumber Mm. We need someone to fix our electricity, yes, you know. Yes, yes. We need someone to fix one or two things mm. um, in our houses. Mm. And these are the people we are looking for. Mm. Right now, if you ask me um, t for a plumber, perhaps I will not have uh, one at, 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 a, at a call away, but then these are skills we need and are on demand, you mm -hmm. know. These are not uh, jobs or skills that you sit in and uh, you are jobless. No, 
you you actually get jobs with these um, uh, skills so you can go and enroll in the in the in the courses it only takes about one year or less in some of the institutions mm -hmm. and actually you're able to get these skills and employ yourself mm -hmm. or even get employment in the industries around so you should not give up uh, because you got a D or um, a, a grade that has not given you a leeway to maybe a university. Okay. Actually, that D should propel you to start at uh, grade three so that you're able to actually improve yourself and actually get into um, grade two and grade one, which is the highest level. Mm. Yeah. So, so after grade one, you can do certificate? Yeah. No, actually from um, the, the, the starting point is grade three. Oh. Yeah, then you proceed to grade two. Then grade one is the highest certificate. Can you use a grade one certificate to go to another level of yeah, education? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yes, Where? you can. So, so it, the, the uh, pathways are, are designed in a way that you can move from one to the other. Mm -hmm. So after grade one, you can either go to diploma. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, and I wish <laughs> I had carried that alternative pathway map. Because mm -hmm. then it shows that you can move from uh, high school mm -hmm. to directly to a, a TVET diploma mm -hmm. or from high school to uh, grade, three. grade three, to yeah. grade two, two grade, grade one, one, and then certificate, mm -hmm. which is craft. Mm -hmm. Then from craft, you move to diploma. Yeah. Okay. And, and they are shorter. Uh, you maybe oh, they are short courses. Uh, yes. They are short courses also. So uh, like grade three takes uh, around one year. Mm. Grade, uh, grade two is another, I think, around six months. Mm. Yeah. Uh, grade one is uh, roughly another one year so mm, yeah. so maybe like in two and uh, two and a half years you would have done like the all the grades yeah. yes and uh, may maybe to also just add to what Beria uh, yeah. was saying mm. uh, you're talking about people who are grade d or people who've uh, just done their class eight and they can't mm. proceed mm. yes uh, 70 percent of of the youth are not made for universities and that we know because uh, by, by the exams result that we get and that that's like a big number so this 70 percent uh, who can get to university they can't yeah. go through parallel because it's expensive mm. also mm. so mm. I, I, would, I would recommend TVET because uh, in a year uh, the fees is around 56,000 yeah. and this in, in this 56,000 if uh, government is giving you around 30,000 grants. Mm. So this is a uh, capitation for every student that has joined a Tibet institution, yeah. there's 30,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so so the, the remaining balance is around 26,000. This 26,000, this is how you get it. Uh, help is now in Tibet. Mm -hmm. so, and, and help gives around 40,000 per year. Mm. So. Uh, to, you, uh, they pay 26,000 to the school account and then the 13,000 is given to you for mm -hmm. your upkeep. Mm -hmm. So it means that a student can get to TV, yeah. complete it while self-funding yes. rather than disturb the parents that mm. we need money for this. Yeah. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a cheap option, uh, that's one. Number two, uh, because I know people don't like this, a lot of academics, uh, if you go the TV, uh, the, the NITA way, you will have like 90% practical as exam. So uh, it, it, even one who has not done, who is, is not really conversant with English and mm. all that mm. can mm. still pass. Yes. Mm. Mm. And then the other thing about Tibet uh, that is, 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 is good and important is that it's, it's easy to, 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 to complete. So. Mm. Uh, you can even do it in Swahili. <laughs> no. mm, yeah. really as long as you understand yeah. and you're practical. Then another thing that I like about Tibet is, you know, we've had people in the industry, the Juakali sector, yes. who are really good. Mm. You give someone uh, a speaker to make, they'll make it well. Yes. Yeah. But then they don't have paper, so sometimes they can't go outside there. Mm -hmm. and, and I like what now the Kenya National Qualification Framework is doing. Uh, it's, it's called recognition of prior learning. So yeah. maybe you can go to an institution with your skill and just take an exam. Mm -hmm. So based on, on the result you get, then they place you. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so someone might have done, like been an apprentice for, for like 15 years, four, 10, yeah. and then they, they just go and take an exam. 
so mm. to be certified. Just as as we wrap off, yeah. I know you want to add, yeah. but you will add to this question of Mercy Award. Yes. Mercy Award is asking yes. that, uh, okay, let me read her statement. Okay. I finished Form 4, but mm -hmm. didn't do well. I want to join Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, that is the TVET now, yeah. mm -hmm. and do electricity. Mm -hmm. I am requesting that you link me with these people from Zizi so that they can give me scholarship. What can wow. you tell Mercy? Wow. Thanks, Mercy, for your question. It's quite um, a very good one. Now, um, under the Safaricom, uh, Safaricom Foundation Scholarship, we are taking very needy youth in the various um, partnership uh, institutions we've had. We have 40 institutions all over the country. We have partnered to take in the needy uh, youth. And uh, the scholarships as at now, uh, one was in January. Uh, they go as per the, the semester. So there was mm -hmm. one in January, perhaps uh, with We are still in January. So oh, there's in one January. in this January. Yes. yes. Uh, so prob the, the institutions advertised in December. Mm -hmm. So they are already taking in their students now. Oh, yeah, we okay. have quite several actually scholarships currently going on. There is a KCB Foundation mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. scholarships mm -hmm. uh, uh, funding the TVET uh, students. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do, perhaps maybe you could follow us on our social media handles, uh, mm -hmm. ZZFRI foundation and actually see because we we actually post some of the scholarships um happening there uh, so when is your next if mass is particular that yes. she wants this yes. scholarship yes. when should she come back or when she should she follow uh perhaps maybe uh, I, th I think what she do, she should do yes, is yes, just please. check mm. on our yeah. social media sites because yes. we always post them we there. always mm. post uh what we know is that uh for now mm -hmm. Uh, this month, for this month, we've already taken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then it also depends on the Funding. intakes mm. of the institutions that we are partnering with. Mm. So uh, based on the on the next intake, if, yeah. if she goes to our social media oh. platform, the Zizi yeah. Africa, and it's, uh, for us we've uh, made it e easy. Yeah. So in all platforms, the Zizi Africa, including YouTube, yeah. uh, you'll, you'll find our opportunities there. Our, our communication guys uh, is, is really fast. fast and yes. it, he, he keeps updating them. Additionally, mm. um, even as she's looking up for the scholarship uh, opportunities, she could be joining our platforms. Actually, just go on our website and see. We have youth mentorships we have every month. Mm -hmm. This is to also equip the youth. You see, other than the practicals, other than the skills, we need soft skills. Mm. Yeah and those values we okay. need we, those are the ones we are quite um also preaching and mm -hmm. telling the youth other than the practicals you have there are also soft skills that you need even in the workplace okay. yeah like respect you know mm. oh, communication okay. yeah and okay. also in the tivet space yes i know as uh, my colleague here was saying uh once we finished our form for the one thing we were asked to do is go computers. for computers and driving. yes and driving yes. you can actually get into a tivet institution mm. because right now they have incorporated digital literacy mm. as part of their learning mm. and also the skills the the life skills so you're able to actually get more than just computer packages uh, out of that yeah so i think there's more to explore just look out on our uh, our platforms uh, as the africa foundation and see the opportunities that the, that are there mm. see the youth uh, mentorship hangouts we usually conduct every month okay. and watch out and take part in them okay okay walter finally as we finish my last question mm -hmm. would you encourage somebody who has gone through the formal education 844 mm. to go also learn some hands-on skill job somebody like thomas obari <laughs> who went through the university of nairobi yes, and passed with a first class i i think um the evidence are there uh, if if you look at um, the the last intake there were around fifteen thousand, i think yes, fifteen thousand youth uh who were qualified for 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 university mm. who who chose tivet or they chose be, TVET and chose left TVET. university. Yes, exactly. because, uh, and you see now TVET, you can be selected uh, to, for TVET mm. through the KUCCPS. Yes, yes, yes. So most of them chose TVET, those, those, that number. Mm. And it's not because... Uh, it's, it's, it's not because they were influenced. Mm. It's not because they were forced into it, but mm. because they, they've, they've sat down and realized that we don't have 
a lot of these white collar jobs. Mm. There are a lot of the blue collar jobs. Job market. Yeah. yeah. So then um, you'd rather go to a Tivet institution, get your skills. Also, the employers are moving away from having people interviewed like mm -hmm. oh what 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 are you bringing mm -hmm. to our organization mm -hmm. or how what how good are you mm -hmm. or your your personality and all that to giving you a task to do yes mm -hmm. so the one who is good at making this table will get that job compared to someone who's learned theory in university that to make a table you need like this inch of a mm. table and this size of, of, of glass. Mm. So uh, the Tivet institution is more practical. Mm. So with that practicality, I would, I would really, really encourage anyone to, to mm. take a Tivet, in, a Tivet course because okay. you'll need electricity. If, if you don't get the job, of course, if, you, yeah. if, you're not, uh, if you're not going for it to get a job, you you you'll, you'll be saving yourself some money if you want to to repair your electricity at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. You'll be sparing yourself uh, a lot of cash uh, by making your own table. You for can example. make your own thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, let me give us your closing remarks here. Uh, this coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, for every every young person um, who has completed eight four four and is wondering what what next, I would emphasize and encourage them to enroll in a TVET institution. Mm. TVET, you will find any TVET, any vocational institution in your county, um, in your um, uh, area where you, uh, in your communities, learn a skill, mm. learn a skill that um, even if you want to do any other course, you have a skill that you can confidently go with in the market. May it be um, entrepreneurial skills, no, have an extra skill that you can actually be competitive out there. Mm. Uh, and, and that is going to make you uh, one of, uh, you, it, will, it will add an advantage to, um, to your skills. So Thank you. I'll, I'll encourage that. Thank you, Belia. Yeah. Your final word, Walter? <laughs> skills development for life and work. Let's, let's get skilled as yeah. young people because uh, TVET is, 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 is one of uh, uh, the reasons, one of the things that will make SDGs yeah. uh, be attained. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. From me, is that once I'm through with what I'm doing now, right, right now, mm -hmm. I'll go learn mechanics and electricity. Yes, I'll do them to the, the highest level so that I will spare what I will have to spend on repairing my cars mm -hmm. and all that. You can also do that. Mm -hmm. And you can also do that maybe to make extra cash and all that. Mm -hmm. So I think you are educated. We hope this program has helped you move forward to mm -hmm. making your life better. Mm -hmm. This has been Why in the Morning. And next we are coming up with Youth and Politics and MCM.